Well, today we're going to talk about renewable energy and jobs in renewable energy, which is this whole topic area is fascinating. This, this renewable energy space is taking off like a rocket, and we'll be talking about that. And along with the growth in the business, there's a growth in jobs. And I get students all the time asking me, up in Boulder and down here in the MBA, how do I get into the space? What do I do to find a job? And uh, it's a great question. And I have, some, I have some thoughts on that that we'll talk about here today. Unfortunately, I will not be able to just give you a, a address to go send your resume to and uh, have a job here by the end of the, the week. But nonetheless, I think there are some, some tips that we can discuss, some things that you can think about that will help you move into that space if you're interested, or at least know what the opportunities are against some future day when you, you may wish to move into that space. To me, the renewable energy space, I'm old enough to remember two things, the PC revolution in the late 70s, early 80s, and the dot-com boom in the early 90s. And this has much of the same feel. This, you know, it's, it's chaotic, it's hard to know which direction it's gonna go. There's you know, a million entrepreneurs out there trying a million and one different ideas. Some of those will become the next great you know, huge companies, the Googles, the Microsofts, the sons of the world. Um, and some, many of them will either be required or you know, die a graceful death or whatever. But it's just, it's, it's fun, it's chaotic, it's interesting. There are gonna be fortunes made and new industries built at this time. And you know, I think being part of that is an attraction probably for all of us. So, topics we're gonna talk about today are renewable energy, why now? Why are we doing this? What, why is renewable energy getting hot now? Uh, business opportunities that people are finding in the renew renewable space. Uh, some overview of renewable energy jobs that are developing. Then we're gonna look at wind energy, solar energy, biofuels, and smart grids, grids, and talk about the jobs in those spaces. We'll talk a little bit about the US stimulus funds that are coming down that are shaping all of this in interesting ways. And finally, some fun ob observations and recommendations. So that is the agenda. And guess what? When business is growing, when money's flowing, jobs are created. Here's some aggregate looks at jobs. This is a job trends over the last few years, starting from almost zero, increasing by 1,500% in January 2009. So we're seeing a great deal of growth in jobs creation in the renewable energy space. In uh, wind and solar job growth, here's solar voltaics from 2008 to 2018. You know, it's almost eight, eightfold, it looks like. And here's wind power, similar, that projected job growth over the next 10 years is significant. By the way, um, these slides are available online in the last slide of this deck. We'll, and actually on the top of the handout I just gave you, it shows where you can find these slides. So here's um, renewable energy job growth by 2030. This is a report from the American Solar Energy Society as well as uh, from here in Colorado, that's headquarters here in Colorado. And they have two scenarios. This is sort of business as usual in the blue, and then an aggressive move into renewable energy. And they're seeing very significant growth in renewable energy jobs over the next 20 years, based on their forecasts. You know, very significant. And where are those jobs going to be? Here's their projection of where the jobs are going, you know, where, where we're going to see the most growth in jobs. Um, for instance, uh, roofers. I know a lot of you want to be roofers. <laughs> and truck drivers and welders. But among these, and this is just most jobs are blue collar jobs in the end of the day, but among these are accountants and civil engineers and computer software engineers and environmental scientists and financial analysts and management an analysts and others. So there's going to be a large growth in business oriented jobs that we're all familiar with. The domain will be a bit different, the industry will be a bit different, but accounting is accounting, operations is operations, finance is finance, and the skills you have, and this will be a repeating theme here today, the skills you have are going to be needed in these industries. And that brings us to some observations and recommendations, having been through all this, that let me share with you now. Um, the, first off, I think that this time around, renewable energy is here to stay. Knock on wood. Um, some of you may remember that back in the 70s, there was this the oil crisis, the embargoes, and, and there was lots of interest in renewable energy, and folks were putting solar B PV at the time on their roofs, and uh, hot water heaters on their roofs, and so forth. You still see some of those around. And then 
Oil prices fell back, plummeted again, and a lot of businesses that have gotten started up failed. I don't think that's going to happen this time. I don't think the energy security issue is going to go away. You know, with the new CO2 finding by the EPA, if that sticks, and I just don't see any reason why it won't, uh, the price of carbon fuels, carbon, you know, coal and gasoline and oil is going to go up over time, and that's going to be sustained by these fi the finding of the EPA. Um, and for, for all the reasons that we talked about earlier on, I don't see any of those really disappearing. So I think that renewable energy this time isn't going to collapse because oil prices go back into the ground. Another finding, or another observation, is that renewable energy is about business and business skills. As we've already talked about, that most of the jobs that are being surfacing in the job posting bo boards and when you talk to people in the industry, they need good business people. They don't need somebody that just knows renewable energy. Golly, Willikers, I, I just love wind energy, but I don't know how to account for anything or finance anything or operate anything. They need good business people, ideally with people that know something about their industry and can talk to jargon, but fundamentally they need good business people to move their businesses and organizations forward. You guys. <laughs>